guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to create a word counter tool which comes by default in few, uh, few of our windows application and sometimes we need to uh, use another external application to do that counting tool so I'm going to create that tool uh, using swing and eclipse so before we go to that part if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do it's a simple and easy red button which is really easy to hit so please press this press the button and let's create a new mini project world counter tool so I'll just use new and I'll go to other and I'll just do maven then I'll create a simple project I'll just do org dot converter or projects anything that you want here I'll just do word counter okay and then we will go to this pom.xml and then we are going to import a library which is flat laf if you are new to this flat laf I have already made two videos on it not extensively for this but I have created two separate mini projects height converter and weight converted so they are created using this library so please feel free to have a look at those videos and for more descriptive details have a look at the height converter so to use this I'm going to go to maven center uh, and I'm going to copy this dependency I'm going to import it here so that I can use it in my project Okay, so I'll just do dependencies and paste it here, format this, save it. So it's going to download the dependency for me. Uh, something is wrong. Okay, so I just restarted my system and I hope that it is going to work fine. But apparently um, something is wrong with Eclipse so i'm just going to ignore this and i'll check okay so dependency has been downloaded that's good enough now to use this i'm going to use a theme so i'll just import that th theme here so if we are using any other theme which comes uh, not by default by flight laf we have to import the json file and then we can use it now I'm going to create a new application window okay so I'll just type window here and I'll get that and then I'll just do package as of dot converter and here I'll just do word counter okay it's not converter it's counter okay okay so yep now let's see how it is looking uh, okay fine so let's create a design okay so what do we need um, I'm going to <coughs> create two panels side by side so the size that I'm going to put it as 800 by 400 so I can easily change it here rather than dragging it is going to be really hard so 800 by 400 now I'm going to create two separate panels which are going to divide this frame in two parts equal to equal parts but first I'm going to set the layout to absolute and then I'll create a panel here I thought I clicked but anyways and then I'll change the size here to 400 by 400 right and this should be 0 comma 0 okay now I'm going to create another panel here okay uh, again the size would be 400 by 400 now you can be really accurate by giving this one 399 
but uh, that's up to you right because uh, that much will not matter much but again you can do that so now we have two separate frames now what I'm going to do is here I'm going to display a poster and here I'm going to do the actual work so here what I'm going to do is to import uh, a poster first I'm going to do absolute layout then I'm going to use a label here oops okay so label is here so again the size should be 400 by 400 and now I'm going to remove the text which we don't need and here for icon I have already created a poster so I'm going to use that up uh, word counter this is the one I need right now for this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a background color so I'll just come back to my source and for the second panel this one I'm going to uh, add the background color so set background so I don't know what's wrong with Eclipse today and then I'll just do new uh, color here and I'll copy this RGB paste it here import this okay so this is what it is looking like now I don't want this title bar and again I want this frame to be created at the center right now it is not coming at the center rather here so let's do that part so for that what I will do is uh, I'll just do frame dot set location relative to null right and I'll do frame dot set now we have to do undecorated to remove the title bar so I'll just make it true now let's see so now it will look like this looks good enough right now we need a uh, close button so let's create that and let's create fields also one by one okay so let's create uh, first let's set the layout to absolute layout add a button here to the edge and then uh, remove this text then have an icon imported close window okay change the dimension to 5550 because that's the size of my icon okay now make it to the edge looks good now we need a title so I'll create the title here and let's write down the title which is word counter tool right make the font bigger a bit so I'll use 30 oops I forgot to make it bold okay and let's extend this a bit make it this one at center and let's drag this down a bit bit more okay looks good now what we need is we need um, a text field not the text field but text area where is that okay okay so let's increase this 
till here maybe okay so now I will create two buttons one will be to clear this out and another will be the count one but we need a very uh, field also to display the count <coughs> sorry about that so what I will do is I will create count somewhere here I'll increase this up a bit and here I will have a label and change the text to count so set it and here I will just do okay count okay and what I will do now is make it bigger so that we all can see this same goes for this one uh, where is the okay okay and make this accurately so that it looks appropriate okay looks good now what we need is we need a button so I'm going to create a big button here uh, right here and now I'll just name it count and what I will do is I will again make this bit bigger so 20 should be enough and this one should be non editable and this one should be a bit bigger right looks good uh, let's make this bit bigger also that's too much I think I think this sh should suffice right so now let's make the functionality up and running first let me change the font size this one to uh, I think 20 is okay or maybe 15 okay and here we have already done this and here we want the text to be displayed at the center not leading now let's make the functionality so first I will make the functionality of close I'll just do system dot exit here zero now for the second button uh, I'll double click on this and now here I'm going to read the text area data so text area dot get text right now make this final and what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into an array so I'll just do add equals and to split this I'm going to use space okay now I have got the array and I just have to set the count sorry so what should I do I okay and count equals to array dot length right and here I am just going to do is text field uh, second text field is okay text field is only one because we create an another area text area so set text and here I'll just do a string dot value of and count and let's try this out okay so let's say uh, thank you for watching till here so one two three four five six right good enough uh, I don't think bold is needed here 
also I'll just remove few things to make it look good enough so first let's come back here make this unbold okay and now let's remove the border so for that advanced properties uh, go up border and we just do no border okay now comes back to source here I will do few things first I'll use my uh, theme that I just uh, imported here github so for that I am going to use a class IntelliJ theme and unfortunately Eclipse is being problematic so I cannot use control space so dot install is recommended by the documentation but it is deprecated so use setup and here we need word counter our class name dot class dot get resource as stream and here I am going to do the basic thing which is going to import the JSON file this one so github dot theme dot json right save this again if you are wondering about this line have a look at the height conversion tool video which I created and now you will see a lot of differences right so here you can see that this is the text area okay this is the button and it counts right and if you don't see uh, if you think that this is not actually uh, visible uh, what you can do is you can create a placeholder or you can create a border so there are two things that we can do uh, I'll show you that too so go to design and here uh, let's come to border so you just have to replace margin border with uh, line border and if you see this you will be able to see the border right good enough that is it for this video so if you like the content that I have just showed feel free to hit the subscribe button and like and share and I will meet you in the next video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye